Big Brand Marketing Playbook, Taco Bell Edition. Recently, Taco Bell has been leading into more top of funnel marketing, probably because they're trying to capture more share of breakfast and lunch customers, not just be a late night munchies brand. This video popped up on my Explore page, which inspired deeper research. Ironically, it's not even from the Taco Bell account. Now, whether intentional or not, this video got 6.3 million views on Instagram alone. Taco Bell clearly granted the space for this event, which appeals to a core niche of their audience and created viral content. Brands with brick and mortar locations should figure out how to leverage those locations more for content that fits their brand tone. Next, I looked at Taco Bell's own account, which looks more like a personal account than a brand account. They have a mix of memes, candids, and product shots. Now, this isn't that exciting because virtually every other fast food chain is running the same social playbook. You can see Chipotle has a similar mix of content on their account. But despite this, what I do love to see is how they're creating content for cross-platform use. You've probably seen the connected TV commercials they've been running with influencers like Pete Davidson, LeBron James, and Jason Sudeikis. What's cool is that they've made these partnerships more modular. These deals are not only designed for television, they're using celebrities for lo-fi organic content like this. In similar fashion, they announced their Cheez-It partnership like a tech conference keynote. I love the subtle humor of this as our feeds are becoming more and more saturated with big tech. On the other end of the spectrum, they produce these short food hack videos that are clearly inspired by what's working on TikTok and YouTube shorts, like this video that got over 17 million views. I'm also a fan of their menu hack series. Almost any brand in any category can create content around how to hack their product catalog. Then they repurpose the same exact content for paid ads on Meta and TikTok, which you can see in their ad libraries, which is really the key behind any 